Hi there, Frank here from Remick, and it's 2.30 on Friday afternoon, Eastern Time. Markets are slowly closing for the weekend, and I just wanted to add some notes here to wrap up the week and also our video series here that we shared on YouTube. You're encouraged to check them out, and if you like our work and what we do, and if you think you can benefit them, please join us on Remick Premium, which is a daily forward-looking market analysis service. And also, we encourage you to check out our software tools, which we are looking at right now, because you can perform these, execute these trade ideas with your chosen level of automation, and our software can help you greatly with that as well. All right, so here's the RTY. We were talking about a consolidation area with a potential measured move and a retest of the previous pivot at 2300. That's still in the future, but we have triggered and the trade is now in progress. You can choose to do this trade on the daily or also on the four hour chart. And then I also want to show you the 6A, which was building a bull flag here, which we discussed yesterday. And we said that we're expecting a breakout and the retest of the previous pivot. And that's exactly what happened. Just look at the chart. Beautiful work. And you had the chance to do this on the daily or also on the four hour chart. And then I wanted to show you their further currency trades, but they're all correlated. So here we go. Just an example, 6E also triggered and it's in progress towards the previous pivot, 125. This is also something we discussed in the previous videos. And if you go back enough, then you will see that it all started on the weekly with this volatility compression and this candle here which bounced back from the middle and started to retest the highs of the consolidation area. All right, let's continue to precious metals. And probably there's a little connection here between USD weakening and precious metals prices rising because GC and SI, as we know, are priced in US dollars. In any case, this is a bull flag that is triggering right now on the GC. And this is the first bull flag after the breakout, which traditionally we think is important in our work. So we're going to keep an eye on this and we expect further upside on GC. And the SI also gave us a bull flag here, which is just triggering here in the afternoon. Look at this beautiful. The SI is a market silver that we've been talking about for a while in detail. You're encouraged to go back in the videos. It's not really too late yet. It's still in time to join this and to make plans for the rest of the year on the SI market. If you agree that this market has potential right now, we have a bull flag triggering and the higher time frame, the weekly is nicely evolving as well. And just as a new development, now it's obvious that if you go back to the 6A, it's actually not the 6A, but the RTY was it, where I wanted to show you this measured move potential and the previous pivot. Of course, the RTY and silver are very different. I'm not comparing the market. I'm just comparing crowd behavior and patterns on the chart that we work with. And remember this chart here, measured move and the previous pivot. And now let's look at the SI and we can see a potential measured move and the previous pivot. Again, there's nothing here between SI and RTY that I'm trying to point out. What I'm pointing out is that these are patterns that we can use in our analysis and exploit them to our advantage, of course. All right, there's many, many more markets that we could talk about, but I'll keep it short. I just want to show you here the MBT Bitcoin, which again, another market that we were so far at least right about. The weekly is evolving nicely. The four hour chart has triggered and uh, we're heading towards what could be our target here around 70,000 on the daily chart, which is the upper Keltner area. Now there's no magic in the upper Keltner. We use the upper Keltner because we use the Keltner because it's measured in ATRs, which we use to measure volatility and ATR and standard deviation are rock solid foundations of our calculations in the software and the way we see the markets. This is just something that has worked for us for many years now. All right. And the last market I'd like to show you is this beautiful short on wheat. And if you go back in the videos, we have this one R beautiful. 
if you go back in the videos that you, you can see that we identified the opportunity in time, but then there was a hesitation here and there was one day where I said that we're going to take this trade, this setup off the list because it's not doing much and we need capital and we have opportunities elsewhere. At the time, we were busy on currencies and the indexes, obviously. Now, two days later, we put it back on the list. That was still before we triggered. So this is just an indication that flexibility and the constant ongoing monitoring of price action in a pre-planned way, which is defined in our trading plan, and it's not improvisation, is quite warranted and can be very beneficial. Today, we have the 1R on wheat. So I hope these comments help you, and I also encourage you to go back in the videos and watch them day by day to see how these stories evolve. And also a little encouragement that perhaps many traders get bogged down on smaller charts, but actually I think moving up to the four hour and daily time frames can be much more beneficial, even if the trades are actually performed, sometimes with micros, sometimes with ETFs or CFDs, it's the same ideas, but I think it's a very beneficial way of looking at the markets and also in participating in the markets. So I hope this helps. Again, if you like our work, join us at remec.ca. Get the software, learn the method, and let's do this together. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much, and mindful trading.